Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Monday. I'm so excited to talk to you today. I'm going to do my TBR for the 12 Days of Christmas and Coziness Readathon that I am co hosting with my friend Ellie from My Cozy Chronicles. And I've got a pile of things down here that I'm really excited to share with you. I will, of course, link our announcement videos down below um, and I will link um, the, all of the prompts. Um, I'll put them in the description notes um, so that you can see what all of the prompts are um, because a couple of them are not uh, bookish. We've got a cozy tea time and a cozy cake. So there are some fun non-bookish things too. Uh, but in a nutshell, our readathon is going to start on Boxing Day, the 26th of December, and it's going to go through 12 days. So we've got 12 prompts. You don't have to do them in order if you don't want to. Well, except for the cake, because the cake is the last thing uh, to celebrate the, 12s, the 12 days of Christmas. Um, but as far as the books go, I've got a few things here that I'm going to be um, kind of sprinkling throughout the readathon. So let me show you what I've got. I made some notes here in my new 2023 calendar, um, which started, well, I just bought it, but it started back in, in October. Um, but isn't this pretty. I'm sometimes I'm not much of a calendar person, so I'm I'm trying to get better organized with things like this. So, I got a, a pretty little calendar for this. So, day 1, um the first prompt is a cozy mystery. And this is perfect because it falls right into the cloak and dagger Christmas um that's going through the end of the month to read a mystery. And for that, I am going to read Envious Casca by Georgette Heyer. And this, I think the name of this, it was renamed. I think it was renamed The Christmas Party. It's the same book. If you've heard of the other one, that's um, The Cozy Christmas House um, on the cover. It's the same. So I'm going to read this. This will cover me for Cloak and Dagger Christmas and for a cozy mystery for 30 minutes of reading on Boxing Day um, to relax and take some time for yourself um, after the busy holidays. Um, next is a cozy cookbook. I've got a ton of cozy cookbooks, but I have one that is new that I have not read yet. I bought this, I actually found this, oh, I think I found this one at the thrift store. I've gotten a lot of special presents this year too. I, I don't think this was one of them. I think this is one I bought at the thrift store. Uh, but this is Christmas from the Heart of the Home by Susan Branch. And so I am going to hold off on reading this one before Christmas because I've got the Nigella Christmas that I'm reading and the Delia Christmas that I'm reading. And I'm going to I'm going to start looking at this one after Christmas. It's super, super cozy. I love Susan Branch. Look at these illustrations. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. So this is going to be for my cookbook prompt. Um, then the next prompt is to read something short every day. And I've actually got three things for this prompt. I don't plan necessarily to finish any of these books, but I'm going to, again, kind of sprinkle them throughout. I am reading currently, I've already started this. This is the Christmas Chronicles by Nigel Slater, and it is a daily essay and and recipe. And it's just, it's, I just love this book. I've showed, I've already showed it to you a few times, but it's just because I am absolutely loving it. So I will continue with this. Um, I've also got this book, Seven Stories of Christmas Love by Leo, Leo Buscaglia, who sadly has passed away, but I just, I love him. He He's one of my heroes. Um, back in the 80s, he taught a class, a love class at USC, and he was known for just hugging everybody, and he's he was this big Italian man who 
just hot about about love um i've got his um, i don't know where it is um uh, he was a teacher, so he taught uh, classes, and I just, I love him. So I'm going to read, I probably will read this, this whole thing. Um, it's only seven stories. It's short, so I'm planning to read that. And then I'm also going to dip in and out of this beautiful edition of the um, Letters from Father Christmas by J.R.R. Tolkien. These were the letters that he wrote to his children as Father Christmas. I love this edition because it's got the printed letter and then a facsimile of the actual letter. And I just love this. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna really plan to read this whole entire thing. Maybe I will, but I probably won't. I have a feeling this is gonna be something that I just, uh, really kind of dip in and out of, read a few and savor it and just keep reading it every year. Um, I just, I absolutely love this one. And then what else? Oh, <laughs> the next prompt is a children's book. And for this one, I've seen, I, I also found this at the thrift store. I got super lucky. I just found this one. I was actually looking for this book on thrift books or a books and I, I, it was expensive and I couldn't find it for a reasonable price. And I was like, mm. so, uh, but I've seen this all over the place in people's TBRs for Christmas. This is the 12, 24 days before Christmas, an Austin family story by Madeline, Madeline Langle. And I was so excited to find this. Look at somebody. Somebody loved this book and drew in the front, which I think is adorable. And it is not not really a picture book because it's got some smaller font, but I, I, I'm sure a story that would be great to read to children. And I'm very excited about this. And I was so happy to find it for, I think like 99 cents. That was quite a bargain. And then we've got one prompt for doing a cozy craft or something something kind of creative and I'm not much of a craft person so what I did is I actually borrowed from my sister who is a scrapbooker extraordinaire this golden girls coloring book I, I just love the golden girls I love this I love this coloring book. So what I'll probably do is we've also got um, one prompt to watch an old vintage movie. I don't know yet what movie I'm going to watch. I'll let you know when I decide. But I'll probably do some coloring and watch an old movie. I also borrowed a pack from my sister, a pack of these beautiful colored pencils because I don't even have any any pencils or anything. Um, I would also love to do a puzzle, but my kittens would not allow me to do that. So there will not be any puzzles, sadly, this year, because I would love to do that, but there will be some coloring. And then the next prompt is a vintage books. And I've actually got two things I want to do uh, for vintage books. The first is No Holly for Miss Quinn, which is a Miss Reed Fair Acre story. Um, let's see, this one was published in 1976. So that counts as vintage. And this is a very sweet Christmas story. I'm going to do a reread of this. I've already read this one. And then I'm also going to read, I got this little tiny edition of Christmas with L.M. Montgomery. L. M. Montgomery. Um, I, I love these little, I love these little tiny books. I've got a few of these. I've got the Dickens Christmas. I've got this one and I've got, um, I've got one other one. I can't remember what the other one is. Um, but I do want to read this Christmas with L.M. Montgomery. Oh, Louisa May Alcott. I have the Louisa May Alcott one too. Um, and this is a teeny tiny little thing. So that will be very quick to get through for my vintage book. And then uh, lastly is a historical fiction. So for this one, I am going to pick up no Clue at the Inn by Kate Kingsbury. 
Um, this is a Pennyfoot Hotel mystery. And you know what? Somebody mentioned this to me in the comments. Who who were you? Somebody were, somebody mentioned this and I already forgot who it was, that they were working on the Pennyfoot um, Hotel mystery. And I realized I had one of them. And I don't remember if I've already read one of these or not, but this is It's Christmas Time in Edwardian England and Bad Tidings to All. So I'm very excited about this. Another one that will uh, be good for Cloak and Dagger Christmas if I start this one in before December 31st. And then lastly, oh no, not quite lastly. Um, one of our prompts is also to start a bookish journal, uh, keep track of your days, a la the Nigel, Nigel Slater um, essays and recipes. I'm also not much of a journaler, but I did just buy a little teeny, teeny paper book so that I can start on December 26th some cozy journal writing. I'll probably just use this for... Um, for maybe making some bookish notes, some YouTube notes. So I did buy a little journal. And then we've also got a try a chapter tag of uh, something either outside your comfort zone or something in your comfort zone. And I actually want to start a new um, fantasy series next year. So I'm going to pick from one of these. Um, this one I've had on my TBR for ages. This is Malice by John Gwynn. And uh, this is a big old chunky fantasy. I think it's one of, of three or so. Um, and I've been, this is just not going to be cozy, but it's going to be good. So I'm going to read two chapters from this. And then I'm also going to read two chapters from The Summer Tree by Guy Gabriel K. And I just, I love Guy Gabriel K. so much. I'm going to pick one of these. I mean, hopefully I will be able to read both of these next year. Um, but I'm going to prioritize and read at least one of them starting in January. And we'll see. I have a feeling, honestly... I have a feeling it's going to be this one, um, but I do want to. I do want to get into a big chunky fantasy next year, so I'm super excited about that. And then um, the the last prompt is to. Um, I already mentioned watch an old movie, which I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do for that one, but it will probably be Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street with. Um, Maureen O'Hara. I love that movie and I haven't watched it yet this year. So I do want to watch that. Um, and then doing a end of the season cake, um, which if I get energetic, I will maybe try to vlog. I'm not much of a vlogger. Um, so I, I love it when people do vlogs, but I'm not very good at it. So we'll see, but I will definitely share with you my tea time and my cake. So I hope you're planning to participate with us and do some cozy reading. Even if you just read one short cozy thing, you can dip in and out. You know me, no rules. We're not keeping track, not keeping score. We just want you to have a fun, cozy time. Bye.